Hello everybody, turns out that my junior slingshot got ripped up somehow. So I'm not going to be able to use him for this showdown. Unfortunately, uh, luckily though, a new warrior has entered the ring. Standard slingshot you can get from anywhere for about six to ten bucks. Let's see how he holds up the big boy and the world's most powerful slingshot. Starting off with Big Boy from... Let me turn that tell you. Starting with Big Boy from about 15 feet with these rubber pellets. One of these days I will buy some steel pellets. Just not in the near future. Go B! And yeah, that got embedded into the target. <laughs> and this is a rubber pellet. That's a pretty good size hole, too. Wasn't exactly on the bullseye, but hey, I'll take it, right? Alright. Back at the 15. Let's try Big Boy again. See if I can hit the bullseye with him. Okay, Jesus effing Christ. When they said this thing was powerful, they were not kidding. <coughs> first target, first shot embedded itself in the dang target. Second shot bounced off but left a huge whelp. And keep in mind, I'm still using just the rubber pellets that this came with. Oh, well, my other slingshot came with. <coughs> so now, let's try the standard one you can get from almost any sporting goods store. This one's more accurate. Didn't leave as big of a whelp. That's a pretty good size one. Let's try the six dollar one again, shall we? Second shot with the $6 one actually broke the plastic. So I guess the $6 one has more power than I gave it credit for. Now let's see how it holds up against the world's most powerful camo. World's most powerful slingshot camo in three, two, whoops, three, two, one, bullseye. Oh, 
We have established lethality with these things from at least 15 feet. Let's try the camo slingshot again. See if I can hit the bullseye. I'll be lucky if I do. Probably not gonna hit it, but hey. Yeah, these things will leave some whelps from 15 feet there. Haven't broke the plastic yet, but hey. And now for the same stunt as last time. Check out what I got. Starting in reverse from world's most powerful on down to big boy. And I am going to be terrified of shooting big boy with this thing. Firing in three, two, one. Oh, missed. Little up. Uh, just playing around. Let's try the six dollar one. Not on me. You know who destroyed that busted up grill over there? Well, I hope he had fun breaking it. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. All right, let's try that again. Hmm. Trying to use this to rest the arrow on, that's not going to work. I got deeper penetration than the world's most powerful one. So if you're going to use a slingshot, specifically this one, to uh, shoot an arrow with, here's what I did. Like this. Thumb. Rest the arrow. That'd be pretty lethal for a squirrel. Maybe a rabbit. Alright. Now... Let's try big boy, and I am still terrified of shooting this thing. Okay, that's terrifying. That's like, what, eight inches? About the same kind of penetration I get with my bow and arrow from about the 20, 30 yards out. Let's try this again. 
see if I can get a better shot. Okay, that was too high. Let's try that again. <sighs> well, I'll be damned, people from at least 15 yards out big boy and the six dollar one is actually more powerful than my freaking world's most powerful slingshot go figure oh well this has been fun but it's hot as can be out here and i got other idiots coming out to bother me so winner of this showdown i guess it's got to still be a tie between big boy and the six dollar one Hopefully here in a couple weeks I'll be able to get enough money up and get one of those really powerful monsters you can get from Walmart or wherever you want to go to for about 30 bucks. Or I might just buy myself a crossbow and probably lean towards the crossbow. We'll do some really stupid stuff with a crossbow out here in a few in the future. In the meantime, thank you everybody and have a lovely day.